Happy Sunday everyone, Jackie here with Enjoying Life's Journey. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a follow-up video for the Instacart video that I posted on Friday. Today is Sunday, so that's the day I have access to uh, pick my hours for the following week. So I wanted to kind of bring you guys along over how to pick hours, how to change your zone, and all of that, you know, within the app. So I'll take you, you know, we'll, we'll look at my phone here in a moment. So when you first start, you have what's called early access. So basically Sunday at 9 o'clock, whatever your time is. So it's not like 9 o'clock Eastern time. It's not like that's 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock your time on Sundays. It's considered early access. So, so the, the next week, the schedule come, can come up and you can pick your hours. If you don't complete the required amount of hours, I'll show that to you in a minute on the phone. But if you don't uh, complete the required amount to stay eligible for early access, then you have access to the next week's schedule on Wednesday. So this is only, you know, my, basically my second week picking hours, so I still have early access. I don't think I'm going to have enough, I don't think I'm going to complete enough hours this week. So next week I probably won't have early access any longer on Sunday. I'll probably have to wait till the Wednesday. But like I mentioned in the other video, you can always check every day and hours do pop up. You know what I mean? So there's that. A tip I have though is if you have access, pick all of the hours that you're available, whether you think you want to work all of those hours or not, go ahead and schedule yourself for all the hours that you're available because you can always cancel them because they will go fast. You have to cancel them at least six hours before your shift. As soon as you know you can't work a certain time frame, go ahead and, and cancel them. You know, and like I said, you can always check back and change it. So what I did was I, for last week, for to pick my hours for this week, I picked, you know, I scheduled myself for about 23 hours. I did end up having to cancel today, Sunday's hours, because we thought my husband was gonna work uh, overtime today. So I canceled my hours for, Sunday and then literally like a half hour after I canceled him he called me back and said oh I guess we're not working Sunday <laughs> uh, and so now they're full so that's okay so he's actually out getting the oil changed right now in the car but I am going to share with you guys um, after my week I'll share a new update on what I made versus what costs I had associated with everything but today I want to talk about like I said I'm going to show you how you pick your schedule uh, and how you can change your zone if the zone by your house is not on there so I'll show that to you on the the app here in a moment. All right, so we're on the dashboard. This is update the app. I'm not gonna update it because it seems like my phone, uh, ever since I updated, ever since I downloaded this app, my phone doesn't stay charged very long. Uh, so I'm not gonna update anything right now, but it shows what your next shift is. You know, how am I doing? You can select your hours, shopper help center. This is great, you guys, check it out. Check out all the articles. That's how I learned quite a bit. Um, and report issues and bugs. So basically this just shows that everything is working correctly. So what I wanted to show you how to see what, what zones are available to you and then how to switch them. So if you go, you have two ways to go to hours. You can go here or like I showed you down here, you can go to select hours. So it's gonna show you the current week. So like I said, it's Sunday. I Like I mentioned before, I originally had 10 hours scheduled today. I went ahead and I had them, I canceled them prematurely, but that's okay. Um, so it shows if they're still available hours, it will be green. And so if I select that, it shows me all of the cities, you know, all of my zones. So originally I didn't have Peoria in here. Um, and I had like a few that are really far away from me. So basically Scottsdale, I don't want to drive out to Scottsdale. Plus it's a little too, uh, I wouldn't make it out there in time. It's already, it's almost nine o'clock right now. So I'm not going to pick those up. But if you see down here, it shows you zones available for you to shop. So you can click on that and then it will show you the actual map of your state and all of the zones. So you can see Peoria in my little blue dot, that's where I'm at. Um, so originally when I looked at this, Peoria was not highlighted. I could not pick stuff from Peoria. And there was areas down here like uh, Casa Grande, everything way down here, it's like hours away. There's no way I wanna travel that far. Uh, so, if you decide, hey, you know what, there's not a zone in, where I want to be, then you can go back to your dashboard um, menu here. And originally I thought it was under uh, settings, it's actually under profile. So you go to profile and it will say update zones. And then it will show you all the zones. So you can unclick, you know, like I unchecked Queen Creek, I unchecked Casa Grande, Maricopa, they're just too far away. And then I went ahead and checked Peoria. So I was really surprised Peoria wasn't checked because I live in the middle of that 
zone. Um, so that's how you would change it. And so it shows me right now I have hours scheduled in that area, so I cannot change it unless I cancel all my hours. But that's the primary, you know, I'm only gonna pick hours in Peoria that just works best for me. So then you would save it and then when you went back to your map, you would see that. So like I mentioned, you can see this week, you can see what I'm scheduled. So mostly you see these flames, those are like the busier days. So basically Monday I'm in Peoria and I'm scheduled four to seven. Another tip I have just from, you know, I, I only worked two days so far. If you don't wanna work later, than a certain time. So for instance, I originally would schedule myself to eight o'clock, but say you don't want to work, you know, eight third up to eight thirty or even nine, because you could end up getting an order, you know, maybe at half hour before the end of your shift and you know each order is going to take you roughly an hour to complete between driving to the store shopping and, and dropping it off so if you don't want to work past a certain time so for instance if I don't want to work past eight I'm actually only going to schedule myself till seven because then I know if they offer me a order at 6.30 or 6.45, I'll go ahead and take it because I'm willing to work till eight, but I'm not gonna schedule myself till eight. So that's just one tip I wanted to share with you. But if you click on, once you select your hour, so it shows you, you know, what's still available, um, you can also see, you know, the earnings for that day. So it says this is a peak earning day, so you typically earn more just because you should get more deliveries. Uh, but for this day, it's a uh, $4 per order and then 40 cents per item. If you're doing Costco ship, um, Costco orders, you do get a bump in pay, or if it's a larger order or a longer distance, you do get a bump in pay. I haven't had any of those yet. Uh, so that kind of just gives you an idea. So each day is different. Every week is different. So it, for instance, this Monday, it's $4. Wednesday or Friday, because it's not that busy of a day, it's less. It's like 3 this one's 350. Okay, so it's just it's it could be different. Um, so again, you see your zones that you can pick from up here. So if it's you know if they're lit up, that means you can go ahead and click on click on them. It just shows you right now that um, you know there still is available seven to eight. But again, I don't want to work past eight p.m., so I'm not going to click that one. Then it has your estimated earnings for the week. They they pretty much try to do that based off of your past performance. So they're estimating on like um, 110. You can view that and it will kind of break it down a little bit for you. Um, just saying that, you know, based on 11 hours, my speed is 216 per item. So they're saying roughly that. So uh, we'll see. My goal is if I can make, if I can make up to $200, that would be awesome. Um, and hopefully nothing less than $100 a week would be good. So then for next week, you can see here, it says that you can select your hours on 826. It is 826. Uh, but it has to be 9 o'clock. So I'm at 8.45, roughly 8.45 in the morning, so I got 15 minutes to wait. All right, so it's 8.59, so I'm going to come back on. I'm going to go ahead and go to hours. I'm going to go to next week, and I'm basically just going to refresh this in about a minute, so we'll be able to do that. And then I wanted to share with you guys, I'm going to share with you, like I was mentioning, how you can keep your early access to selecting your hours. I'll show you that here in a minute. So like I said, I'm gonna do my tip. I'm gonna select as many hours as I can, all the hours that I'm available, and then I can always cancel them later if something comes up. So if you notice for this week, you know, I didn't have Tuesday because that's Elsa's birthday, and then Thursday, um, Arcadia, my oldest daughter, she does karate. It used to be on Saturdays, and now it's on uh, Thursdays. All right, so here we go. So I'm gonna start with Sunday because that's the day I should have the whole day open. I wanna do Peoria. You can see seven to eight is already taken. So I'm just gonna take the next 10 hours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. If you want a lunch break in there, you're gonna have to uncheck it yourself and leave it open. Um, otherwise, I'm just bringing a lunch in the car with me. You do get a 20 minute break at some point, so I'm just gonna to do that. So I wanna save, so that will show me. I'm scheduled eight to six. I'm gonna do Saturday. That's the next day that I wanna pick up some hours. Again, I wanna do Peoria. If my husband's normally been working Saturdays, so he will be home. Uh, usually, I can start by Four, so I'm pick up five out, or I'm pick up till uh, I'll do till nine on that day. And I say till nine, like I said, because if you 
if you're willing to work past that time. Uh, Monday is the next busiest day, so I want to definitely pick some hours up there. It has to be after my husband gets home from work. They usually, again, it's around 4, but I'm only going to do till 7. Oops, I don't want Goodyear. You, Peoria. Okay, and I did notice that um, 5 o'clock, or I mean 6 o'clock starts being kind of busy where I'm at so far. So we'll see. Um, the next busy day is Tuesday. Um, see, uh, a lot of these times are already picked, so I'm just going to pick. Uh, you have to do at least two hours. Oh, that's a good year again. Sorry, guys. Peoria. There we go. See, my area seems to have availability pretty good. Um, do, do, do. Save. I am available pretty much every day of the week now, except for Thursdays. Like I said, that's when my daughter has karate, so I am going to not pick that day. So Peoria. Save. And Friday. So again, I'm just, I'm picking all the hours that I'm available. Whether I'm going to work all these hours, that's another question. And again, it has to be after my husband gets home. My husband gets home at 4. I can start my shift right from my house, so I can start right at 4. Um, and again, I don't want to work past 8 o'clock, so I end my shift around 7. Save. Okay, so if I look here, my estimated earnings for the week are about 250 to 265. My goal is I want to make at least 200. Again, it just kind of it depends. That let's see our view. I scheduled myself for 26 hours. Again, I'm just doing this part time, um, and so once if I end up reaching my 200 dollars then I'll probably cancel some of these other hours. Or again, if something comes up, or if my husband does end up calling and say, hey, I'm going to stay late um, on any of these days, I can change the time as well. But that's how I do it. Again, so that's how that works. So again, like I said, this week, you know, today is Sunday, so I, I do check back just to see if there's anything in my area. Peoria is not lit up. There's nothing in my area. So if you go down, it has early access status. So it shows me um, what I'm scheduled so far within a three-week time frame. So in order to keep early access, they want you to complete at least 25 weekend hours or 90 hours um, total. And then that, like I said, that's within a three week period. So that doesn't mean, you know, per week, because that would be insane. Weekend, to complete 25 weekend hours within three weeks, that is totally doable. I probably would have made that if I had not canceled my hours today, but that's okay. So if I don't end up getting this within the three weeks, you know, we'll see. Like I said, if, if I'm not able to keep it, then it will, uh, I will not have access on Sunday anymore. It will be Wednesday, but I can see my current status. Um, so far I've worked six hours out of the, that time. So that's where I'm at. So I'm nowhere near you know, but this is where I'm at with the hours I just scheduled. Oh, also you can set a uh, vacation time, which is cool because we are going on a cruise in October. So I will set the time that I'm gone. And that just lets them know like that you're not, you know, not being active, that you are still interested in the job. You're just, you're just not available right during that time. All right guys, so that's basically, I just wanted to share with you guys how to change your zone if you're not seeing the zone that you want to be in and how to select your hours. Um, kind of, you know, how that all works out. So stay tuned. I'm going to be doing uh, at least maybe a weekly or a monthly update on the earnings, how everything's going. Um, and I will include costs associated with doing the job. So there are some costs that I've already had right out the gate as far as purchasing insulation uh, bags. I may purchase a cart. So I'll share that with you. And then again, we'll see what kind of mileage I'm putting on my vehicle and gas and how it all ends up working out. Uh, if you have any other questions or there's anything else on the app that you want to know about or if you want to know about the hiring process, let me know and I can put that in a different video. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.